Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can work with case statement in MySQL. So case statement goes through conditions and it will return a value if the first condition is met. Works just like if then else statement. So I hope you are aware about if then else, if else in databases and programming languages. So if the condition is not met, the value in the else will get displayed. So here, let's see an example to understand the concept in a better way. We have a table employee with five columns. Let's print the values. I hope you know that to display values from a table, we use select and star, select statement and star. Now press enter on pressing enter. The values of a table with five columns and four rows is visible. Now what we need to do? Now let's say you need the first name and last name of employee on the basis of their age. Let's say if the age is above 25, the employee is eligible for senior profile else he or she is a fresher. So let's begin with our first case statement at first select because we want first name and last name. I'll mention first name, last name, comma, then mention employee age, comma, case. This is our case keyword. Now press enter. With case, we use when to set conditions. Now when EMP age is greater than 25, then mention what you need to add. Employee with experience eligible for senior profile. That's it. Now press enter for the second condition. When EMP age is equal to 25, let's say, then employee is mid experience level. Eligible, let's say. Now let's move further and mention the else. Else freshers. That means less than 25, that means it's a fresher that is new to the company. It's fine now. Now press enter and mention end as. As is an alias and in the output it will show the temporary column name. Let's say I'll mention it as eligibility. Press enter and the table name from the table name is employee. That's it. This looks fine. Semicolon and press enter. On pressing enter, you can see we have displayed the conditions as per the records. So hope you know why this first name and last name visible because we have mentioned select first name, last name and employee age. So employee age is also visible. All three records are visible. After that, we went to case and checked for conditions. Employee age is greater than 25. That means employee with experience. So for 25, it's 26. Same is visible here. And for 26, same is visible. Eligible for senior profile. We went for another condition. Employee age is equal to 25. That means employee is mid-experience level. And the same is visible for Jack Sparrow 25. Mid-experience level and eligible. Now, after that else, what will come under else? It's a fresher. That's it. Brad Pitt 24, fresher, new to the company. It's fine. Under end, we have mentioned the alias. Alias is a temporary column name. Eligibility is visible here. This is a temporary column name and it remains in the duration of the query. So it will remain for this purpose only. After executing next query, this temporary column name will vanish. And the last is the table name. Same criteria is visible and the eligibilities are also visible. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can work with case statement in MySQL. We saw an example wherein we set eligibilities of employees on the basis of age and experience level. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.